So I'm at Terrace Acres Drive now, just short of Green Street, right up ahead where that van is, the intersection of Green Street and Terrace Acres Drive. Um, and here we have the remnants of another cul-de-sac. You can see where on each side the uh, street curb bulges, and at one point this circular part, uh, Terrace Acres Drive, ended here. I'm assuming it uh, ended on the side where, where I'm standing right now. Uh, I guess that would be the east side of it. But at some point, um, Terrace Acres was then extended as a street uh, to continue forward and meet up with, uh, well, Green Street, and it goes on eventually to East University Drive around there. So it'll be interesting. I'm going to look up to see uh, when this cul-de-sac was broken and uh, became a full street. I'm betting this happened um, before, uh, at an earlier time, than the one in the Grove Hill subdivision on Windway Road that I was at earlier. But just another case where uh, you can see these subtle signs at one point how the streets in Auburn were when it was a much smaller town. There were fewer neighborhoods, but then as things grew, uh, you know, uh, streets changed or streets were extended, but you can still see signs in some places, uh, for example, cul-de-sacs that used to be around but no longer are. So, that's it.